I woke up at the early hour of 6 a.m. with one of my youth leaders, Emily. We wanted to eat a lot of food because Josh is a really good cook, so we planned on running in the morning. But first, we eased into our day by spending about an hour in my hammock, where we soaked up all of Camp Joy's morning beauty. After that, we ran six to seven miles, rushed over to breakfast, and then out to our first mission site, which is Camp Joy Maintenance. Today was the first day on the job, and I was really excited because maintenance was actually my first pick. I just couldn't wait to get all dirty in my work clothes. The first day, we moved some sticks, logs, and other stuff like leaves. We had to be careful, though, because there was some poison ivy. I made sure to step in it, too. I'll tell you if I'm itchy tomorrow, but I might not be, because I took a bath in the one and only Star Lake, where I was baptized last year. By lunch, I was hungrier than a teenage boy, and it was beautiful. I piled my plate high with food, and I was still growly hungry when I was finished. I guess we like to work hard here at Pelican Rapids. The next hours between lunch and dinner is free time, where people like to write encouraging notes through our own mail system, play frisbee, or swim. Today was special because I got to go down the street with half of our group to get ice cream. The ice cream guy reminds me of Santa Claus because he is really jolly and likes to give generous amounts of ice cream. It was just in time for dinner too, but of course I was hungry for it. My second mission site was at the church in town where we connected with 5th through 8th grade girls. They're really quiet, but I'm sure we can get them talking the rest of the week, especially if we talk about boys. When we arrived back at camp, it was time for chapel. This is one of my favorite times of the day because the worship at Pelican is always great. In chapel, we've been mainly talking about the verse, Micah 6, 8. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. This verse has been helping us all put in perspective what a true servant should do. Later in our families, we talked about how we can apply this verse to our mission sites and how we can become better servants. We also like to share stories from the day so we can support each other through that week. It is a good way to connect and reflect on the day before we head to bed, read our encouraging notes, and rest up for another day. And that's a glimpse into my week at Pelican Rapids.